So if they fall down, they would hurt themselves, right? Okay, so do you guys kind of understand it now? In my classroom, and that's the thing that I love about it, I have students from a lot of other countries. Thailand, Burma, Somalia, I have Kenya, Tanzania, Congo, and Burundi. And then I have a lot of American students. So I have kids from all over. Some are beginners who are just learning English, and some have been here in the country for a couple of years. So I have a lot of different levels in my classroom, and I love it. We are a K-8 building. We have three teachers at each grade level with about 22 students in each class. Common Core is our uh, main curriculum. We have a think tank team, which is a team of teachers and administrators that look at our school specifically. And part of this think tank committee um, noticed that with the Common Core, students were not as successful with writing as we had hoped. We decided that Step Up to Writing would be a good program to use um, school-wide. So let's just say we do three to four key star ideas, three to four yellows, okay? I find that a lot of our students, they just really, when it comes to writing, are very reluctant. But when you introduce the color system, for some reason, it really grasps and they love it. Some kids, they can't remember how to write the paragraphs, so we got the reds, uh, the details, the yellow, the, um, the key star ideas, and the green for our topic sentence, and green, green for the conclusion. All right, so what were some of the key star ideas that you guys came up with? Last year, when we first started out, I wasn't using Step Up to Writing. They were just so reluctant, and it just it just seemed like I was always, always having to get on them, trying to fight with them about writing. It was harder because I didn't know where to put my details and my introduction and all of that. And then I went back to Step Up to Writing, and they got it. But now since we got the, the way it's set up with the red, yellow, and green, it's easier. We're talking about kinetic energy and potential energy, okay? Kinetic energy is energy emotion. With our kids, the biggest thing is organizing. And I tell them, if you can organize it, that's half the battle right there. Even my kids who are just coming to the country, if they learn how to organize before they even get how to make sense of their writing or how to spell things correctly, that really helps them. When our kids are taking the state exams and any type of essays, they would like tense up and get nervous. Now they know to organize it. I didn't know how to do it at first, but then I remembered how the format was because of the colors, and, then I, and I wrote the essay. They feel successful as writers and are more confident going into it, whereas before it was something of, this is hard, I can't do this, and would shut down before they even really tried. Starting school later would improve students' academic success. So this is a claim or an argument. This year what I've done is looked at the different writing genres, the narrative, the informational, and the argumentative. That's a big, big concept for sixth graders, is how to form arguments, how to form claims. Now, using a step up to writing actually introduces my kids to it and makes them comfortable with writing an argument. Now, we've been in an argument in our class about recess because they feel like I don't take them outside enough. So I told them, if you can convince me through your writing that I should take you outside more, I'd love to do it. You had an argument. Okay, you had to claim you said, Ms. Briggs, that we were able to go outside more and we'd be able to do our work better. So what they did was right, so they found um, a reason, a yellow, okay. and then they found some elaboration, some details, some reds. And they also found a quote. So they're also infusing quotes into the writing. The writing is important because it allows our students to share their ideas and to show us what they know. A lot of our kids are texting and on the computer, so writing is all shorthand. And so as teachers, it's our job to get them college and career ready so that they can write formally to express themselves completely and clearly. I go to the seventh, eighth grade teachers all the time and I ask them what skills do you see they don't have and it's always writing. So I make sure that my kids know how to write. When they go in seventh grade, as soon as they get there, they have to know how to write a paragraph. They're not going to review with them paragraph writing. They need to know how to write a decent paragraph. Step Up to Writing allows teachers to fill those gaps with the pieces that are missing and to help students become um, stronger, better writers. I think I got better because my teacher taught me a lot of stuff about writing and it's getting easier and I'm improving. It helps me with understanding how to write a paragraph and essay the right way. I used to get sloppy and then it's been getting better and I've been writing better essays. We saw a marked growth in 75% of our students um, met their goal or exceeded their goal, and the ones that didn't made progress. Step up to writing rocks. <laughs>